Hey guys, it's Carl from GuitarBreakdown.com. Today I'm here with the Andrews A50. It's an all-tube, hand-wired, 50-watt head. Uh, the A-Series is also available in a lower wattage, the A22, um, as well as 112 and 212 combo versions. And the voice of these amps is inspired by the vintage Plexi tone, uh, but with a few refinements and a few additional features that'll kind of take it into some new range for you. So um, let's take a look at this front panel on this amp. Starting on the left side, we get the high and low input jacks. Uh, the high input jack has 9 dB more gain than the low. Um, then we come across, we get the gain control, which is your preamp volume, followed by the treble control, which has a push-pull uh, mid-shift feature. When you pull that knob out, you get the mid-shift engaged, and that gives you a little bit more uh, mid-range um, engaged in that treble control. And at higher gain settings, I found that it gave the amp a bit of a modified sound that was really cool for like hard rock. Um, at lower or moderate gain settings, it'll give you a little bit more of like a Vox-like quality. Uh, moving across, we get the bass control and then a cut control, which is like a presence control, and it affects how much of the overtone uh, or harmonics that you get in the sound and gives you a high treble impression. Uh, especially noticeable on your higher gain settings. And then uh, finally get a master uh, volume control. And then on the far right, we get the uh, standby and power switch and a very nifty green indicator light. All right, that's a really simple and straightforward front panel. So now let's take a look at the rear panel. On the back, we have uh, access to the fuses. Um, we have two speaker jacks and an impedance selector. Uh, but we also have external bias test points and an adjustment control, which is really a, a good feature for those of us who are handy with a multimeter and want to take care of adjusting our own bias, and especially when you need to change your output tubes and reset that. All right, so that's your external features on this amp. So now let's just check out some tones. Okay, so let's look at this amp set up in uh, the way that I would probably use it the most uh, myself. Um, as a rock player, I'm going to run the gain up pretty high on it. Uh, and I like it set around 7 or so on this amp. Um, that gives me plenty of uh, punch uh, for power chords and uh, it's still pretty sustainy for leads. Um, and uh, the small strings sound pretty big with that much uh, womp on them. Uh, so I'm running that gain up a little bit, but it's, this amp actually uh, does a good job of cleaning up when you roll the volume down. So, um, so with that in mind, uh, um, I'm still getting a lot of uh, tonal variation out of it because I'm able to back way down and I A pretty usable clean sound for uh, rock and roll settings. Okay, so moving across from that, the treble on this amp, I'm setting it uh, fairly high. Um, I've got it on seven, um, but I do like pulling that um, the knob out to uh, uh, mix in more mid range. Uh, I think that's a really cool feature. It makes the amp sound a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more aggressive sounding to me, um, and I think that's real a real hip feature on it. Um, the bass I've got set a little bit uh, lower um, because this amp does have a lot of bass uh, frequencies available. So, um, and I want to keep those bass uh, bass notes, especially the muted stuff, real tight sounding like that. Um, then I move across. I've got the cut set. Um, actually about six or so because I do want some sparkle on uh, on my uh, sound so that it cuts through real nice um, and uh, get the master run up pretty good um, 
on seven here so that the power tubes have a lot of fullness. Um, and uh, uh, that's pretty much the settings I had on the intro. Uh, and uh, I've got the, uh, the cabinet in another room um, because uh, it's really loud <laughs> and I uh, wouldn't be able to uh, hear myself think with it in here in the room with me. So, um, so anyway, that's how I'm able to, uh, to get that sound without it uh, crushing the, uh, the mic that I'm talking through. So anyway, um, so with that sound, I've got, you know, a lot of... A lot of aggression. A lot of aggression available in the sound, a lot of smoothness on the solo tone. Um, but like I said, I can back up um, or back the tone down or the volume down. And get that clean sound and then just turn up. Uh, And uh, you know that's just old school. That's how uh, that's how our, a lot of our heroes did it. So um, that's that's what I like to do. And this amp does it really really well. Um, and uh, even with the master volume feature, it's still able to clean up real nice um, by just turning down. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's check out the uh, the a little bit cleaner sounds out of this amp. Okay, to get a good clean sound on this amp, it was actually very simple. Uh, I'm using uh, the lower input of the two. I'm also using a guitar with a little bit less input, uh, so single coil pickups will definitely stay cleaner. Um, and if I wanted to do that with a humbucker guitar, I just might roll the volume down just a little bit so that I'm not impacting that first gain stage too much on the amp. Uh, to further that, I've got the gain turned down just a little bit, but I am kind of using the gain control as a volume control because I've got the master all the way up. So I want some fullness in the sound. Um, on the treble control, I've got it turned up just a little bit with the mid shift disengaged because I don't want too much mids as I turn that knob up on the clean sound. Uh, the bass, I've got that up on about 7, uh, it's a lot higher than it was for the distortion sound because I want fullness in the clean sound. Uh, and then the cut uh, control presence knob, that's at about the same place uh, I liked it on uh, the dirty sound and the clean sound at about 7. Okay, so I hope you can hear and see that this amp can uh, cover a lot of ground from clean to dirty. Um, just by adjusting a few settings and uh, choosing the different input. So it's extremely versatile. Okay, I hope you enjoyed checking out the Andrews A50 with me today. You can find out more about this and all the other great Andrews amps online at andrewsamplab.com. And join us again here at guitarbreakdown.com for more gear reviews and tons of free lessons all the time. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>